Hi there, welcome to the Tony Seminar. Uh, we are tackling, this time around, Hamlet, a little known play uh, by William Shakespeare. And uh, we're sort of taking, we're looking at the main character of Hamlet, who has about 1,595 lines in the longest play that Shakespeare ever wrote, which is, just so you know for your cocktail chatter, 4,024 lines. Um, Hamlet, the main character, sane or insane? Uh, how do we, how do you, is, is there any answer to this question? Is there any definitive answer? No, he's feigning madness. No, he's actually insane. Mm. That seems well, it's a complicated question because, of course, a, a big plot point is that he is pretending to be crazy in order to seem less threatening to the king, although why exactly the king would find a crazy person less threatening is not entirely clear in this version of the text. Um, the earliest version of the text, as you know, is a, is a Saxon version which had the, a very young child losing his father to a murderous uncle. And so he fakes, he fakes his, his mental illness so that he won't seem a threat and so that he'll be allowed to stay at court. Mm -hmm. But when Shakespeare compresses the timeline, it, it messes everything up. It makes, the whole, it makes the whole feigning of madness seem more threatening than something that would make people think of him not as a threat. More than any other play of Shakespeare's, he takes a character and he really delves into his consciousness. Long soliloquies uh, by Hamlet, uh, uh, berating himself for not acting, for, for unpacking his heart to the audience in these soliloquies. I mean, he's sort of this incredibly self-reflective uh, character who's almost anguished by his own consciousness. So I, by, by eliminating that motivation, like he's a young kid who has to bide his time till he can take revenge, it's weird. Why did Shakespeare eliminate that motivation? Mm. He, he made him a young man who could, you know, kill Claudius for killing his father. Mm. Well, and now you get a character who is at, is at war with himself, with himself. A lot, and that mm. reads as madness, you know, even beyond his feigned madness in the plot. The fact that he's constantly fighting against himself mm. uh, gives it a lot of uh, dramatic energy. All right. Stuff to chew on and check back in with our next Tony Seminar segment.